I'm Chris Trot. And I'm Harry Higgs. And this is Wedge Play at Bandon Preserve. Where's it going? Is it coming back? Is it just, is it just gone? Welcome to Bandon Dunes, the preserve. I am with my favorite guy we've got on staff, Mr. Harry Higgs. He's rolling, the buttons are down. We're out here, second hole, early doors, 91 yards, but we're here to hand over your brand new Mill Grind 3s, sir. Thank you, Trotty, I appreciate it. Take it's, a uh, it's look. It's quite an honor to receive these from you as well. <laughs> all the way up here, we had to fly all the way here oh, to do I know. it. Oh, yeah, I had to travel quite a ways, <laughs> but uh, here we are, we got them. I hope they're worth it, and what a place to test yeah, it. Man. I mean, look at this, we've got it all to ourselves. Yeah. No, we're gonna, you're gonna find out whether you do or do not like a wedge here. Uh, especially one hitting some of the fun shots here at the preserve using some slopes seeing how much you can spin it and then just this this uh, firmer turf and you really get a nice idea of how how well engineered these things actually are <laughs> you mentioned that when we got in last night and I love that you brought it up already firm turf why sure. is that key for your wedge testing early doors it's the I mean it's the hardest shot so you might as well go to the mountaintop and, and see if you can pull that one off and then the rest of it's pretty simple you got to and you know, there's times where you work with different bounces and different grinds, maybe if you will. But I mean, early on, these things just, they went right through it. I mean, it was very simple. It was reacting exactly how I thought it should. Um, not digging, not bouncing too much. You know, you still had control when hitting off of a firmer lie, which is so lovely. So when it gets a little lush and a little bit more cushy, you know, then you've got full confidence to, you know, maybe even pull off the hero shot and just kind of wow some people. First look at those bad boys. What do you think when you look down? Yeah, I mean, they they definitely, uh, you know, whether I go 52, 56, 60, whether or not you even start with the, you know, 46, 48, the pitching wedge, it, it kind of, it, it flows in from each one very nicely. Um, and then it's just, to me, it's, it, it's very clean, it's a little bit more square. And then that leading edge is not, not nearly as rounded as before it's very just very straight and i and i love that i i think it's great you when you open it up it just looks like you you, you can kind of do whatever you're going to want to do you know and that's the i'm big on look the look for me and the you know when i when i go here and i want to hit a little high one especially again off this firm turf man it just looks like the wedge is going to react exactly how i would expect it to and, and so far it has which is awesome as a consumer and people watching this, how do you pick? You already mentioned you went 52, 56, 60. How do you make the choices as a consumer as you build your golf bag? Sure. Um, I would say, so I carry four if, if we're including pitching wedge, which, you know, we all do. Um, I would say it has to be at least three or four. Everybody needs a lob wedge nowadays. Yeah. Uh, just with the kind of the way the golf courses are, even... Even your home club is probably, you know, a little firm and fast. You, you're going to hit it in bunkers. You're going to hit it short of bunkers and then have to hit it up and over them. So, so get a lob wedge. 58 degrees and up. Yeah. I would, yeah, and wedge. I would say a 58 to a 60 would be totally fine. Yeah. Um, and then, But I would suggest for most, uh, we'll call it club golfers, probably to only have three wedges because they're more than likely going to, you know, need maybe an extra hybrid or hybrid or five wood probably. So yeah. I'd go, you know, maybe even 58, 54, or 52, and then and then the pitching wedge, right, for them. Uh, for us, you know, out on tour, I think pretty much exclusively everybody has four. You know, we just wind up driving it a little further and having more wedges, and then, you know, in and around the greens on any hole, but especially par fives when you're trying to score and make birdie, you need, you need some different options. You need some different lofts to try to, you know, get the ball close and, and make some birdies. So Higgsy, everyone loves obviously hearing you and I chat. We could run our own morning show, I'm sure. But the real show is this 91 yard yeah. shot and the other beauties we've got going out there. Talk to me about your thoughts. I've got some TP5Xs down here. Okay. Where are you at? Pins tucked pretty close, but you talk through it. People want to hear you. Yeah, um, 91, 91, it looks like it's gotta be 91 in the <clears throat> air. Cause one, there's a bunker that we've got at about 80 yards. Uh, probably 80 yards to cover, and then there's like, there looks like there's a bit of a false edge. 81 cover, so 81 you can tell those eyes are warmed yeah. up. Yes, yeah, the sunglasses, baby. <laughs> um, 
it looks like this ball's got to be in the air for probably at least like 86, 87. Uh, that'll kind of get a kick forward and then five or six behind it, it'll kind of stop. This is a, is a nice shot to start with too, because it doesn't really look like I have to be that exact left and right. If I go a little left and hit it whole high, it looks like it comes right down to it. And then even over there on the right, you know, long and right of it, it, it kind of should stop and, and just give me a good look to, you know, make a two. My pickup on that, and we had it a little bit off line before, is how positive the self-talk is. Most of us would stand here and go, geez, big trap looking at us. But it's not even in play, sure. is it, right? Well, it shouldn't be, <laughs> yes. Um, and, and, you know, so I think people would probably be surprised that we also acknowledge all the bunkers and all the hazards. Uh, we just have either practiced or learned ways to just simply acknowledge it don't give it any power don't you know let it basically consume your shot yeah you know acknowledge there's a bunker there's a bunker short and there's a bunker left if i tug it but then you know there's still plenty of green and i'm still trying my best to see a successful golf shot and then you know obviously some practice and some skill as i've accrued over you know a few years has has made this shot maybe a bit easier um but it is okay to acknowledge hazards and acknowledge kind of the bad places that you do not want the ball to yep. go, just make sure that, you know, your kind of last thought is something a bit more positive, something a bit more, you know, it's something that will give you a chance to hit a successful golf shot because that's all that anybody's trying to do. <laughs> Great message. I like it. The floor is yours, Eggsmeister. Right. Got to be 85 in the air. And I'm pretty sure I can go left or right. Let's see if we can hold it. I like it, Trotty. I like it too. Oh, it took a big first bounce. It did, but it's first shot of the day. You've left yourself with a pretty easy yeah. putt. I like it. Do you analyze anything if you're in a tournament and you come back, divot direction, divot, divot depth, or even when testing clubs like this? Not so much. I, if anything, I'll struggle, especially off uh, some firmer turf, with just a little bit too much, I just call it turf interaction, right? So it's just another variable. If I get going, if I have too much turf interaction, usually for me, that that means I've hit it higher on the face. So the so ball will not come off with enough speed and, and tend to, one, go in the air a bit too much and, and land a bit short. Um, no, the, I mean, really, truly the only thing other than that, and, and that's, that's good turf interaction for me there, um, I, I do think the, the kind of square leading edge and the square look is actually going to, to help me with, with limiting my turf interaction, just making the strike cleaner. The only thing I really care about um, is a bit where I struck it on the golf club. And that one there was was fine. I liked the flight. Um, I, it was just a little lower on the face and maybe a touch towards the heel for me. I, I do think I landed on a down slope, but I also might not have struck it just clean enough to have that thing stop as fast as I wanted it to.